what is up amigas it's elise welcome back to the channel so it is the end of the week when i tell you this has been the longest drag ass week of my life i am ready to escape this house right now just go do some therapy and what better place than to go to target target is just the place that you can go and the minute you go in and you just smell that target smell you just instantly feel better and the craziest part is that it's really 8 p.m right now i'm about to leave my house right now in the cold and go to target just because I figure while i'm there why not just browse through the cute little clothes and see what they have i have no expectations today i have no idea what i'm gonna find I'm just going for the vibes to be honest with you and i'm going to let target tell me what i need let's go to target and see what cute stuff i find <laughs> So as I'm sitting here editing this, I really can't believe I left my house at like 8.30 p.m. to go to Target and just browse. So anyways, I'm here <laughs> and I decided to just check out the jeans section. One thing about me and my personal style, I love a good pair of jeans. I saw a lot of Wild Fable, a lot of these little crop tops, which I thought were very affordable, only $5, which I feel like you don't really see anymore nowadays. Everything's like over $10 for like the most simple little thing. Um, but these were very affordable. All these crop tops were $5, all Wild Fable. And I don't know if it's just as I'm getting older, if it's just the senora in me, but like, is Wild Fable clothes getting smaller and smaller? Because these crop tops were tiny. I did grab some to try them on, but they're very tiny. This crop shirling jacket by Wild Fable, very cute. I actually preferred the creamy white one over the khaki one. I still tried to find my size in the khaki one, but I couldn't, didn't have it. But these are cute and perfect for the winter time right now. A lot of spring stuff, you know, you know these stores, they be, they be checking out of the current season. So they're already rolling in all their spring stuff. Loved the yellow cargos, I thought they were so cute, but I did find some other cargos I liked a little bit more. Lots of sweatsuits, lounge pants, sweatpants, joggers, love that. Ooh, who did? She cute. Can we get a moment for the dress? You guys, I actually haven't been stopped by a dress in Target in a really long time, and I thought this dress was beautiful. The details, the back, everything about it, so cute. All right, amigas, let's go to the fitting room. We are starting with comfies, and I got this crop sweatshirt with the matching lounge pants from Wild Fable. I wanna love these, I really do. They're great, everything's great. However, they are so long, so long, you guys. And as a five feet tall woman, it is very annoying. I'm petite and I know this, however, this is a constant struggle for me. They do have pockets, they're nice. However, they're a pass because of how long. This are. ribbed knit midi dress, it's cute. However, I didn't like how thin the material was. I don't feel like it was the best quality. Also, I don't love this neckline because I feel like it's always going down and I'm always having to pull it back up. I felt like you could see every little nook and cranny and mind you, I was wearing the most seamless underwear that I had. It was a pass. This pink slip dress with like little rhinestones in it. So cute. So cute. I loved it so much. And mind you, Valentine's Day is around the corner. So I just think this is the perfect little Valentine's Day moment, little date night moment. Absolutely. Brunch me, date night me. In this dress, yes. It was really comfortable and it had a little slit down the sides, which makes it a lot more easy to move in, especially since it's satin. Loved this dress. I found this little pink satin tank top from the clearance section for $5.40. And when I tell you, I added this so fast to my cart. Baby, I am not kidding, okay? One thing I love is the deal. It's a little nippy in Target, so mind your business. But honestly, though, this is a perfect little shirt. So flowy, so easy to style. And I love the fact that it has adjustable straps. So I decided to play up the outfit that I already had on. And I just threw over this oversized denim button down. I ended up leaving this because I have so many like it. But now I'm kind of mad at myself and I might go back for it. This faux fur lined trucker jacket. Oh my God. I This is one of those things that looks beautiful on a hanger but like when i put it on i was like what the f it was not giving the right fit it was too boxy for me it was giving a lot of shoulder it just wasn't so you guys right know when you see something on a hanger and you're just like oh my god this is cute and trendy let me put it on because i want to be cute and trendy but girl when i put this on including including this tiny shirt i was instantly reminded of my age i was like girl sit down this khaki khaki utility jumpsuit was so cute. Definitely something that looks better from the front. Cause when I saw the back, when I saw what it did to my booty, oh my God. I was not impressed, girl. But I think that's just a problem with a lot of jumpsuits. They look great, but they don't have a lot of give on the backside. So then your butt ends up kind of really getting squished. So obviously it was a no. Grab these jeans from Wild Fable. And actually a few years ago, I bought some Wild Fable jeans that really held me down for a few years. So I decided to get another pair because I actually love these. I did size up one because I felt like they were a little bit snug, but really, really great fit. And I also love the spaghetti strap, strap top. The only thing is I wish it wasn't a bodysuit. Definitely hit that point in life where it annoys me that every shirt has to be cropped and every shirt has to be a bodysuit. It's like, come on. Been on the market for some really good striped baggy trousers to give you like that nice slouchy dad fit. Still on the market though, because I don't, what are those? What is this? Like th this crotch situation, it's disrespectful to be honest. It's just, uh, mm, no, hard no. This is a statement coat if I've ever seen one. Okay, baby, I have never. The minute I put this on, I felt like I was bopping in a Y2K Ja Rule music video. 
All right, so it's winter, so obviously we are in the season for turtlenecks and all those types of vibes, all those cozy vibes. I thought this sweater was so cute, but um, it didn't it didn't give, like the fit was weird. And then I actually realized I got an extra small, so it's like no wonder it didn't fit. It wasn't my size, but this was actually really, really cute. Remember that pretty pink dress that I was geeking over in the beginning of the video? Okay, so they didn't have my size in the pink one, so I got the black one. I, like, I was taken aback because I have not seen a dress at Target that I've loved in a really long time and I felt so good in this dress. It was giving confidence, it was giving beauty and grace and everything. God, I, I could not put this in my cart fast enough. Girl, I'm hot, okay? Something about going to Target and doing a whole try on haul, you be getting sweaty in them dressing rooms, but y'all, I'm home. Yeah, I just wanted to wrap up the video and show you guys what I ended up getting. So I ended up grabbing the black dress, which I think is so stunning, sexy, elegant. It's giving sophisticated woman. It's giving a statement dress, but without it being too much. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like it's just enough. I love the way that it fit me. And guys, the back of the dress is what sold me and completely brought it home for me. Even to this moment, I'm still on the hunt for what I want to wear for my birthday this month. And um, I feel like this might be it because this dress is just chef's kiss. Beautiful gorgeous we love her i also ended up getting the pink satin shirt and the jeans that i showed you guys but they actually stayed outside and i'm not gonna go get them at this point child i'm tired i want to go to bed and i want to wrap this video up i hope this video gave you guys some like inspiration and you know all the vibes i will have everything linked down below so make sure you check that out but hope you guys enjoyed this little reboot bringing it back of the inside the dressing room series chronicles i don't know what i'm calling this yet give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and of course subscribe to the channel because girl why not <laughs> Why not? I mean, you made it this far. Might as well just smash the subscribe. Let's make it official, right? Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.